Alright, today I'm going to be doing um, kind of things to expect when getting your first guinea pig and sort of tips on how to bond and care for your guinea pig, I suppose. Just a little chat video on things to expect when getting your first guinea pig. First things first, I am in my room right now and sorry I am wearing my school uniform. We have a school production tonight so I'm going to get changed into that so I'm just wearing my school uniform. Remember, right when you first get your guinea pig, Remember to give it some space to settle into its new home. Whether it takes a week or so, just don't start the bonding process until they've settled in. Okay, so first things first, when you first get your guinea pig, please don't be upset that your guinea pig will run away. They are naturally wild animals, believe it or not. Um, so their instincts are to run away if they feel threatened or scared. <laughs> just need to have like determination that's what we did we basically we put them on the floor the first time we got our guinea pigs and um, gradually we kind of build up our confidence and our bond between them by having some floor time and we sort of sat in the middle so they could run around us and sniff us and we brought food with us like we had food with us so they sort of knew that we like were known for having food so they felt happy that we were the ones that fed them to not give up and just carry on like believing that you can do it. It will take time and effort, but it really is worth it in the end. Once like you usually have like a bit of a stronger bond with your guinea pig, um, it is important to give your guinea pig regular handling, whether that's just a quick like you know pick up in your arms or a proper cuddle in your lap. It's totally up to you, but I would say to begin with, start with just on your lap especially if you're new guinea pig owners because it's quite the guinea pig can like feel quite vulnerable if you're up high and they're on your chest so make sure um, you start with them on your lap. I preferably have, uh, we started with puppy training pads so that if they read it would go onto the mat not you and now we have some like fluffy mat that we got made for us for Christmas and it is beautiful and so yeah, I would say regular handling also helps with bonding. If you guys want some more tips on bonding, be sure to comment them down below in the comment section and I will try and get that done for you guys. For like first time guinea pig owners, um, you obviously will need to buy a, an accommodation for your guinea pigs. Um, it really does depend on you and your guinea pig and your basically situation. If you, like personally, Pip um, only uh, goes outside spring and summer and she comes into her indoor hutch which she is in now. Um, it is smaller than her outdoor one but it's big enough for her and she gets floor time every day. So. Um, she gets enough like space and stuff but um, she will be going outside after Easter um, which she absolutely adores and I personally really prefer her being outside sometimes. So yeah you need to make sure that your guinea pig is safe as well so your enclosure or whatever that you've got for them to live in is safe and it can be locked and if they are staying outside all year round make sure that they have enough bedding and um, preferably a cover. Um, so that it keeps them warm and to keep the foxes or any predators out and away. If your guinea pig's enclosure isn't big enough for them to run around all the time, like a shed or something, um, then I would give them regular floor time, whether it's every day or every other day, just so they can have a bit of freedom to run around and get a bit of exercise. Um, Pip especially loves this, um, she loves going under the tables, but um, just make sure they have a place to hide. We got like a little hidey fluffy hidey thing that we also got her for Christmas that she likes to hide in so if she feels threatened she sort of sniffs her way around and she knows where the safe places are in the kitchen for her to run and hide in and um, what places she can just run when she wants to um, so it's a great idea to have a place for them to hide if they feel threatened as well as the adorable fluffy um, happy parts of having a guinea pig um, you are going to have to deal with cleaning out their poo and whatnot. So you can, if your like, enclosure is big and you have quite a few guinea pigs, spot cleaning is probably quite a good idea. Um, we don't always spot clean because um, 
it's, there's only one guinea pig now, so it's not like essential to spot clean. So we do give her a clean heart every few days. But today I did need to spot clean, spot clean her because when I put her back, her poo went everywhere because she decided to spill it all out of her little tunnel thing she was in. But I did do a bit of spot cleaning today, but you do need to make sure that you do clean your guinea pig. When cleaning your guinea pig out, you might want to put them out on the grass or somewhere like um, somewhere secure and safe. Or if it's like winter and you don't want them going out on the wet grass, you can just bring in a run and so that they can just be on the kitchen floor or something um, in a run so that they're safe and secure or you clean out their hutch. Um, Pip usually has floor time while we clean her out, but sometimes she likes to stay inside the hutch because she's a really, really curious um, guinea pig that loves trying new things, so she gets really excited when we clean her out. She just loves the little brush and stuff, and she does like a little uh, like tickle with the dustpan and brush, which is quite funny. Okay, so when you first start, sort of like get a guinea pig, you are going to need to groom them, obviously. Grooming them from early on will definitely help with like them not molting quite as much. Your guinea pig will molt, obviously, just like we lose hair or skin or something. They do molt, so just be careful where the hair is going because it is quite annoying hair. It doesn't just brush off; it literally entwines into your clothes. It's really annoying. Um, so if you put them on a mat or something, just make sure you give that a good shake so that, especially if there's someone with allergies, if they're like, if someone comes around and they're allergic to um, furry animals, just make sure that you get rid of all the hair and stuff because you don't really want that in your house. give hugs and things because you don't want to lose that bond or lose that tameness um, also trying new foods you need to make sure that you feed them new foods when they're younger because they might get attached to a certain food and you need to make sure that they have a ranged diet so that they have plenty of nutrients etc etc that's it for this video thank you all for watching I've got a skedaddle now because I've got a show to go to so wish me luck um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope this helped. Any requests or questions you guys have, I'm more than welcome to answer. You can DM me on my um, Instagram account, Wish Upon a Piggy. Uh, link will hopefully be in the description below. Or you can just ask a question in the comments and I'll do my best to reply to you all. But thank you all for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!